you guys today I'm going to show you how to empty your Gmail trash folder I'm going to show you how to do this on the iOS mobile app as well as on your desktop so have one or both of these devices on hand so you can follow along as we go through let's jump right in emptying your trash is super simple and this can also clear up a ton of storage space I know it's like my number one thing to do when I'm running out of storage space is I go in and just empty my trash in my Gmail so to do this, you're going to launch your Gmail and then in the top left corner, we're going to hit the three lines and then scroll down at the very bottom. We find the trash um, inbox. So we'll click on this. And here is where I'm going to find everything in my trash folder. So anything I've deleted recently is going to be here at the very top. We have a couple options. We have the empty trash now. And if we select this, this is going to delete everything automatically. So be cautious when using this option. As long as you're okay with all of your emails in your trash being deleted, then go for it. But uh, just know that once your trash is empty, you cannot find those emails again. They're gone forever. So just be cautious. Another thing to pay attention to is um, above this, there's a message telling you that anything that's been in your trash inbox for more than 30 days is going to be automatically deleted. So be proactive in checking your trash bin in case there's important emails that you've accidentally deleted. After those 30 days are up, you can no longer access those emails. But this is also really helpful because our trash bin takes up a lot of storage. And so to have it, everything be deleted after 30 days is going to clear up your space. If, for example, you needed that space cleared up right away, then you can come in and empty trash now. If you wanted to delete things individually, you'll just click on the email. Click on the three dots in the top right corner. And at the very top, you'll find the delete forever option. When you click this, it's gone forever. You cannot access it again. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. This helps fund the channel and it also helps us continue creating videos for you guys. Thanks and let's get back to the video. Okay, now let's jump over to the desktop and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the same thing. Okay, so now that we're on the desktop, you're going to wanna have your Gmail launched. And then in order to get to the trash folder once again, we're gonna go to the left-hand side of the screen um, and we're gonna click more and the downwards arrow. This is going to open up all of the rest of our folders and this is where we're going to find the trash folder so we're going to select the trash folder it's going to open up everything we have in our trash bin right now and we're going to essentially follow the same steps as before we have the same options so up at the top um, in the blue we have the empty trash now option again when we select this option it's going to delete everything in our trash bin to the left of this, it's going to be that same message as before. Um, anything in this folder that's been here for more than 30 days will be automatically deleted um, on its own. So obviously we don't have that swipe to delete option on the desktop, but what we can do is <clears throat> select the boxes on the left-hand side of the emails, and we can also click that delete forever option here. So if we didn't want to delete everything, we could select one or two and click that delete forever and it's gone. I will show you what this looks like. If I wanted to empty the trash um, completely, I would click this. And what's going to pop up is just a message asking um, us to confirm that we want to delete everything. If you're sure you want to continue, then you'll click OK. Um, if this was a mistake, you'll just click Cancel. And now all of the conversations are deleted in my trash. It's completely empty and I have cleared more storage space for myself. As a bonus tip, I'm going to show you how to customize your swipe options on the Gmail app. If you're familiar with it, when you swipe to the right, what will happen is this email is going to be archived, but you can customize these swipes to mean different things. Um, and to do this, you're going to click on the three lines in the top left corner. Scroll down until you find settings. We'll click this. We're going to scroll down to inbox and then inbox customizations and mail swipe actions this is where we're going to customize the right swipe and the left swipe so we'll click on right swipe and you can choose to have this be any one of these options the most common would be trash um, and this is the one that I find the most helpful is to just delete by swiping so now that that's done I'll just hit done in the top right corner 
And now I'll just demonstrate if I wanted to delete something, I'd swipe to the right and now it's deleted. I still have that swipe to the left option being archiving my emails, but I could also go in and change that too if I wanted. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this answered any of the questions that you had. Thanks again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.